gentleman welcome back to the shop uh, if you're watching this video chances are you're sitting with a firearm that looks like this one this is a little new to me 22 long rifle uh, as you can see the screw is cammed out uh, through the use of a normal screwdriver and we've all done it Let, let's be honest with ourselves Let, we've all done it if you anything like me and, and fiddle with mechanical contrivances if you reach for your toolbox and you get something like this Trust, it's been with you forever, but it doesn't fit the screw slot. Now, uh, then what we do is you dig around in your toolbox again. What's up next? The little electrical screwdriver. You've also had this since high school somewhere, starting your apprenticeship or whatever. And it also doesn't fit. Then we move over and we get a little smaller electrical screwdriver. And lo and behold, that fits. That fits. And we use it and try and unscrew the uh, little screw there. And it comes out due to the fact that it's flat ground. As you can see there. Almost like a chisel. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make yourself some cheap gunsmith screwdrivers. That is not cheap. That Well, it's going to cost you next to nothing. But it's going to save all your firearm screws. Um, we'll see how this goes along. If YouTube allows me this video, uh, maybe I'll do another video where we fix the cam out screws. Uh, so uh, let's first look at the um, why it happened. Now in old English guns, the screw slots were either 16 thou or 20 thou, which is for the metric guys among us, just over 0.4 millimeters and just over 0.5 millimeters. Uh, that was the standard slot size and then obviously the head size differed anything between 1 8 uh, 3.2 millimeters for the metric guys and up to and including what, what the, probably the biggest I've seen is about 3 8 of an inch 9.5 millimeters and uh, so in essence gun screws are always slotted narrower than standard screws Just, uh, whether it be metric or imperial Standard screwdriver does not fit into a gun. So we need gunsmith screwdrivers, or as old English call it, turn screws to work on our firearms, take them apart, clean them, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, do not alter firearms unless you are a qualified gunsmith, which I'm not. So I may, I may be taking them out, uh, out of the stock once a year to clean or whatever the case may be. But if, even ever so often you. Uh, run into the problem where you need to either tighten the screw on the gun or take it out and you start looking online and the uh, price of the sets of gunsmith screwdrivers or turn screws are really boring ridiculous um, now they, they're all hollow ground as you can see on the little uh, schematic you need a hollow ground screwdriver to work on a gun because it needs to fit the screw tightly if you're working in an electrical panel whatever the case may be, the, the screw can, uh, they can look a bit like this. No one's gonna really kick and scream at you for it. Uh, in essence, it, it works a bit better because normal screws fit normal screwdrivers. So, it'll not look like that this bad. But uh, in essence, in, on, on firearms, you always tend to use a too small screwdriver and then it comes out and you've got the issue. So we need hollow ground screwdrivers. Now, first of all, we all reach out, uh, if you've done it, let, let me know in the little thingy below. Let me zoom you out a bit, yeah. Okay, so first up, get yourself one of these uh, little screwdrivers with the X butt. Uh, you can get the um, ratcheting type. I do not like the ratcheting type. You've already got a bit of play in here. Um, you want to have a feel for it when working on these type of things. Uh, so make it work, get yourself one of these dates, very cheap, and uh, that's where we're going to start off with. So we've all done it. You reach out for these little quarter inch screwdriver bits. They're almost all the ground now, they're, they're all the ground, so why not? Why, 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 what's wrong with it? But you get to back to your firearm and it still doesn't fit. Now these things are as cheap as Bosch, so uh, you, you can spend some money on them. 
The ones that I've got here, you'll see I have actually cut them off, cut them shorter. Get a standard one that fits a quarter inch screwdriver. I couldn't find them, so I bought a little packet of these, uh, these ones and just chopped them off. And uh, seemed to work fine. So what we need to do is we need to hollow grind them to fit our firearm. This one I've already done. Uh, I think this one actually fits quite well in here. Let me zoom you in again. This one fits quite well in there. I think this one will work on that screw. So, um, I thought I'll show you how I do it and how we go about it. Okay, so what we'll do is, uh, I've got this little one here. It's uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. And we will be grinding it down to probably about 46 thou. No, 30 thou. 30, 32 thou. Uh, to fit in another screw on the gun on the other side. So, uh, I'll get you to the shop and show you what we're going to do here. Standard width, one of the standard widths, uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So that, that's what we'll be gunning for. Okay, so uh, we've got our little screwdriver. And I'm just using my uh, wire scraps to hold on to them. Uh, you'll need a bucket of water. Okay, in the olden days, they made the turn screws out of um, Spring steel that had to be tempered and so on and so on, so you had to treat it and all of that. This thing is already fairly good screwdriver material, so uh, we'll try and keep that as is. Do not overheat it, so that's why you need a little bit of water, and then you will need a Dremel tool. Now, I've got a pneumatic Dremel tool, your normal electrical one that you've probably got on your side. Uh, it'll work just as fine. So, what you will do is just make sure that you keep a, a square grind on it. I think I might zoom you in here a bit. Come on. Focus. There we go. So uh, just keep it square and work it a little bit at a time, making sure that you keep the grind actually square on that first little section. The first section that you need will be about 1.62 millimeters worth of flat. We're going to grind this one back to uh, 0.58 that's at 23 thou. That's about what I need. So uh, let's see what we can get out of here. Okay, so uh, I've just changed over to this little um, sanding thingy and just to polish it. And there we go, 0 0.58 millimeters thick and uh, nicely and a nicely polished edge. Let's go and see if this works. Okay, so this is it, the little screwdriver. Let me zoom in here. There you go. Nicely ground. Right on the money. And uh, let's see if it fits the little screw that I wanted to fit in. Okay, so this is a little screw. It's on the side. Uh, I'm not going to use it now because I fitted the um, telescope on there. But there. There we have it. A 3 sixteenths inch wide by 23 thou slot and it works an absolute job. Here we go. Gentlemen, your own little gunsmith turn screw. You can polish that out with a bit of sandpaper. And uh, But now you won't come out the screws anymore. Uh, I think at this stage I'm going to call this for this video. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please write, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay safe.